Also tonight, comedian and actor Steve Martin talks to Lauren about bringing bluegrass to the Royal Festival Hall. After I blow a hole in somebody and slip around on their guts, afterwards, I always like to make balloon animals. Actor and writer Steve Martin is one of the most recognisable comedy faces in the world. He enjoyed a successful career as a stand-up and TV writer before the world of feature films beckoned, beginning with the box office hit, The Jerk. You were left on our doorstep, but we raised you like you were one of us. You mean I'm going to stay this colour? <laughs> Martin has not only starred in, but also written and produced some of his most memorable movies, such as Roxanne... Service! ...and the observational comedy, L.A. Story. Sandy, your... your breaths feel weird. Oh, that's because they're real. Now Martin is back on stage, but this time with a banjo in his hands and a bluegrass band in tow. His album, The Crow, new songs for the five-string banjo, topped the US bluegrass charts when it was released earlier this year. He's been touring his show in the US, and now, for one night only, he's at London's Royal Festival Hall. We caught up with him during rehearsals. Sound check's going too good, we better stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, Steve, I understand that you've been playing the banjo for some 45 years now. Yes, or and more, and, actually. And more. Yeah. So what inspired you to pick one up for the first time? Well, I was a young uh, teenager. I was 17, and I heard the music. And I, I lived in Orange County, California, which was a very unlikely place to hear banjo and bluegrass, but there was a folk music revival. Not even a revival, just a... <laughs> it was the original folk music boom. And, um, and I, a lot of... Bands used the banjo. I heard Earl Scruggs, the Dillards, who were just uh, inducted into the Bluegrass Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. and there was there was a lot of uh, banjo and guitar music around. I heard that you learned to play by slowing down records to an incredibly slow speed and then finger picking along. Yes, that was about the only way to learn then, uh, because there were nobody giving lessons where I lived. I found out later a lot of a lot of musicians did it the same way. So, what was it about bluegrass that you loved? Well, I liked. Um, the tempo of the banjo, it was very fast, it, it sounded uh, mysterious to me, uh, it sounded impossible, uh, but it's also, you know, there's another type of bluegrass or mountain music, Appalachian music played on the banjo, which is also very melancholy. Mm -hmm. So I, I liked uh, that the banjo was capable of delivering upbeat, high tempo, high energy, complicated songs, and also these uh, very moving, slowed down tunes. The record does feature contributions by true um, mm -hmm. music royalty. Bluegrass pioneer Earl Scruggs, who you Earl mentioned Scruggs earlier. Earl Scruggs was one of the main figures of a bluegrass banjo. Uh, and Dolly Parton as well. Dolly Parton is a great, I, I, she's really more country than bluegrass, mm -hmm. but she also sings bluegrass and does bluegrass albums, and she sings on this record and she does a beautiful job. The songs were written over a long time, a long period, mm -hmm. right? They all had kind of very different inception points. Yes, well actually there was a, a group written early on, and I'd say in the early 70s or late 60s, maybe five songs on the album, and the rest were written all in the last seven or eight years. Mm -hmm. So there was a gap where I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> Probably, <laughs> you I know, acting. making films of some sort. <laughs> yeah. right? I mean, you have made a huge range of movies from, you know, L.A. Story, mm -hmm. Roxanne, The Jerk, Pennies from Heaven. When you look back, if you look back, mm -hmm. um, which do you feel proudest of? Well, I rarely look back. And so I only really live on feedback. People say to me, oh, this movie, this movie. But I guess if I had to say something, I, I really am proud of Bowfinger, a movie I wrote and acted in mm -hmm. with Eddie Murphy. I thought he was fantastic in the movie. And it's a, I think it's a well-built comedy. Do you feel more involvement with films that you've written than films that you've Not acted in? Not necessarily, no. I, uh, I like good writing. And, it, and uh, sometimes I don't do it and sometimes other people do. And so I'm, uh, so for example, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles was a great script. And I said to John Hughes, uh, I said, how long did it take you to write? I mean, it was the characters were so clear and the, uh, defined, and you knew exactly who everybody was by page two. And I said, how long did it take you to write this? And he said, three days. I said, I locked myself in a room. I understood the characters, and I just started typing. Dell. Oh. Oh. Why did you kiss my ear? Why are you holding my hand? Where's your other hand? Between two pillows. Oh, 
Those aren't pillows. How do you decide what to do next? I just wait till, uh, till it happens. Like this album, I, I had some time and it went through a series of, you know, casual circumstances, it, it came to be. I mean, I started, I play, uh, Tony Trishka asked me to play on his album. And I said, I said, well, you know, I don't play the standards as well as other players, but I have these songs I've written. And uh, he said, well, let's hear them. So we put on, put, recorded one for his album, and it became a little bit of a hit. So then I was encouraged uh, to do these other songs. And then I had some time, and I booked a studio, and there we were, <laughs> you know. The album's had not only you know great commercial success, but but critical success too. It um, has been. Did yeah. that did that mean a lot to you? Yes, it did. My most proud moment was that the record and myself was nominated at the International Bluegrass Music Association in Nashville, which is a very closed group, and uh, they're interested in strict bluegrass. And that this album got nominated for Instrumental of the Year and Banjo Player of the Year and Recording Event of the Year was a very big deal for me. Well, Steve, thank you so much for making the time to talk to us. It's been my pleasure. Real can't, joy. Can't wait to hear you play. Thank you.